Yellowstone National Park, which is well known for its breathtaking beauty and fascinating natural phenomena, has recently experienced a spike in seismic activity. In the last few weeks, the area has experienced hundreds of unexpected earthquakes, according to park authorities. For many, this has become a worrisome chain of events, which has led to the question, is the Yellowstone supervolcano finally going to erupt, or is there something even more mysterious at play beneath its geological wonders? Scientists are saying Yellowstone National Park is sitting on a time bomb, as its seismic secret is now trembling to the surface. Join us today as we venture into the recent terrifying seismic events and uncover what they mean for Yellowstone, and possibly, the whole world. Before we start, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Before we dive into the recent disturbing seismic activities, we need to understand why Yellowstone National Park is so important in this context. Yellowstone is not just the first national park in the United States, but it's also the first of its kind in the entire world. Spanning over 2.2 million acres across Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho, the park preserves more than 10,000 hydrothermal features, an extraordinary collection of hot springs, mud pots, fumaroles, and geysers. Yellowstone is home to more than 500 active geysers, that is more than half the world's geysers. The park is also home to a large concentration of wild animals. But there is a truth hidden beneath this beautiful landscape that many of us sometimes overlook. Yellowstone is not just a park, but a giant volcano, one of the largest active volcanoes in the world. It is considered a supervolcano, as its eruptions have the potential to be thousands of times more powerful than a typical volcanic eruption. The Yellowstone caldera itself is a large caldera that was created by the third and final of the park's three super eruptions over the previous 2.1 million years. The Huckleberry Ridge Tuff was produced by the earliest of these eruptions, which took place 2.1 million years ago. A caldera more than 60 miles wide was also left behind. The Mesa Falls Tuff and Island Park caldera were created by the second, which took place 1.3 million years ago. The most recent significant eruption, which produced the Lava Creek Tuff and the present-day Yellowstone Caldera, took place about 640,000 years ago. This eruption produced 240 cubic miles of rock, ash, and volcanic gases into the sky, which decreased global temperatures and had an impact on ecosystems all around the world. Imagine a power so strong it could cause devastation on the entire planet. But the narrative doesn't end here. Stay with us till the end to learn the horrifying outcomes that could result from a Yellowstone eruption, a situation that could alter the path of human history. Yellowstone just became the setting for a seismic show that has both scientists and viewers on edge. The northern part of Yellowstone Lake, recently saw a series of tremors that attracted the attention of both scientists and the general public in the course of just 12 hours. On March 28th, a magnitude 0.7 seemingly insignificant earthquake started the sequence. But an unbelievable earthquake swarm was only getting started. At least 60 earthquakes with magnitudes ranging from 0.1 to 3.7 were reported in less than a day. Although earthquakes in the region are not rare, Yellowstone accounts for about 50% of all seismic activity in the Intermountain West region. The greatest earthquake to ever strike the region was the Hebgen Lake earthquake. Large-scale landslides were produced by the 7.5 magnitude earthquake, one of which dammed the Madison River and produced Quake Lake. The geothermal features of Yellowstone were also significantly impacted by the earthquake. Geysers that had been inactive for years suddenly erupted, and the patterns and behaviors of others changed dramatically. For instance, the intervals between eruptions of the well-known Old Faithful Geyser were changed, and new hot springs and fumaroles formed in the park. This event spurred a reassessment of the seismic dangers in the Yellowstone region and resulted in major adjustments to monitoring and response. 
The latest spike of earthquakes has rekindled conversations and anxieties about the potential big one that might occur inside the park. With between 1,000 and 3,000 earthquakes per year, the region is one of the most seismically active in the United States. The majority of these are unimportant and undetected, but the most recent swarm has sparked concern. The more serious question is, do these tremors mean that the Yellowstone supervolcano is showing signs of a big eruption? Or are the latest tremors simply the Earth's way of bringing its unpredictable nature to our attention? We must examine Yellowstone's intricate geology in order to understand this. The park is perched on a molten rock plume that is rising from the mantle of the planet. The park's geothermal characteristics are fueled by this hotspot which is also to blame for the local area's volcanic activity. Additionally, it is one of the few hotspots that is located beneath a continental crust rather than an oceanic crust. Many people are speculating that the recent swarm of earthquakes at the eastern edge of the Yellowstone caldera, close to the location where the most recent massive eruption occurred, is foreshadowing a more significant event. Geologists and seismologists are closely examining the data to look for patterns and cues that might point to a shift in the volcanic system's behavior. The entire world watches in horror as scientists continue to study Yellowstone's marvels, wondering what mysteries still remain unsolved. The animals of Yellowstone may hold one of the answers. Landscapes in the park serve as havens for a variety of plant and animal species. But lately, strange things have been happening. Unusual interactions with wildlife, notably bison, are being reported by tourists. In two separate incidents, a woman was attacked by a bison and another woman was found dead on the Buttermilk Trail, eight miles from West Yellowstone. Investigators suspect it was a fatal grizzly bear attack. The area has been closed for human and bear safety, and the investigation is ongoing. Scientists are still wondering if there's a connection between the wildlife behavior and the recent seismic activities. But some experts do believe that animals might be sensing something we can't. After all, they've been living in harmony with this land for thousands of years. It is not a novel concept that animals can detect earthquake activity before people. There are numerous instances of animals acting strangely in the days before earthquakes. The relationship could be more stronger in Yellowstone. The animals have evolved to live in harmony with the geothermal characteristics and seismic activity that make up the park's natural ecosystem. Particularly the bison have a strong bond with the land. They take advantage of the warmth in the winter by using the geothermal sections of the park, and the local geology has an impact on their migratory habits. Could the recent changes in behavior be a result of changes in the magma chambers below ground? Are the animals responding to environmental vibrations or chemical changes that are invisible to humans? Scientists are currently investigating these issues in an effort to find connections between animal behavior and seismic data. We are only beginning to comprehend the connections between animal behavior and seismic activity. Anyone who is aware of the region's powerful geology gets shivers at the mere suggestion of a potential eruption in Yellowstone National Park. It would be an unprecedentedly large-scale event to begin with. The immediate area around the park would suffer terrible destruction. It would all be destroyed by ashfall, pyroclastic surges, and lava flows. The eruption's ferocity would destroy the stunning landscapes, diverse fauna, and famous geysers. Also, the human cost would be catastrophic, towns and communities nearby would be in great danger, and evacuation efforts would be extremely difficult. According to one model, the fallout from a Yellowstone super eruption could affect three quarters of the US, and 90% of people within 1,000 kilometers of the blast could be killed. The massive ashfall from a Yellowstone eruption would be among its most terrifying features. Large parts of North America might be covered in ash from an eruption that spews thousands of cubic kilometers of material into the atmosphere. Additionally, 
The enormous quantities of volcanic gases and aerosols that would be released into the atmosphere would have a significant impact on the climate on a global scale. A stratospheric aerosol layer composed of sulfur dioxide and other gases may deflect sunlight, significantly cooling the Earth's surface. According to one analysis, a Yellowstone supereruption might result in an annual global temperature decrease of up to 12 degrees Celsius. This volcanic winter could affect weather patterns, reducing agricultural yields, and leading to food scarcity in various parts of the world. In this geologically active area, the prospect of an earthquake or volcanic eruption is a cause for significant anxiety, and the authorities are doing everything in their power to understand, monitor, and reduce the potential risks. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory and other partners recently unveiled a new volcano and earthquake monitoring plan that seeks to enhance regional monitoring and hazards assessment. Seismometers, GPS stations, and other tools are strategically positioned around the park as part of this plan to offer real-time data on the geological activity taking place below the surface. Over the next 10 years, a number of new technologies will be introduced to monitor geothermal activity and offer information on reducing geological risks in the Yellowstone region. For now, authorities have reassured the public that the recent seismicity does not indicate an imminent eruption. The recent earthquakes are likely related to the movement of fluids and gases beneath the surface, a natural process in such a geologically active area. What are your thoughts on Yellowstone erupting? Leave your opinion in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.